I'm Casey with Tab Performance. Today we're going to show you how to put a set of slip-ons on a 2020 Tri-Glide. Uh, if you find this video helpful, if you wouldn't mind, do us a favor and just click the subscribe and like button down here. And uh, let's get started. Alright, so a couple tools we're going to need here. We've got a half inch uh, adjustable wrench here and a 9 16th ratchet. This is for the bolts underneath the bag uh, or underneath the mounting brackets. And this one will be for your exhaust clamp. So let's get started. All right, so now we're gonna loosen up this here using the 916 socket. And then we wanna make sure that it's loose enough that we can turn this here. So that way we know we can pull it forward and push it back and we'll show you why here in a minute. And then it's important to note that this is much easier to do on a lift, uh, but we are showing you how to do it with just the tools that everybody will have to make it uh, more relevant hopefully so now we're going to take this we're going to go ahead and push the exhaust forward all the way make sure we give ourselves uh, plenty of, of room here to work and get our adjustable wrench up here and start loosening this one up we're going to get it mostly loose we're not going to take it all the way off just because then the muffler will want to drop down and the bracket gets kind of wonky. So we're going to get most of the way there and then we're going to slide this muffler back to give us some room up over here. Get the wrench up in here and on these there's really not a lot of room to work in between here. But it is enough that we should be able to get this loose to where we can get them um, loosened up and just do the rest by hand or if you want to use the wrench for the whole thing you can all right now we've got our pipes laid out here we've got the tab ones next to the stock ones you can see uh, pretty much identical in length here um, so they should stick out about the same as as the stock and then we'll go ahead and remove the exhaust clamp then get rid of these pipes put the exhaust clamp back on You may have some trouble getting that on and uh, just need to make sure we get it loosened up a little bit more. So I'm going to loosen this up and make sure that I get this wedge block on the other side of it. And then we may need a mallet to tap that down, but we'll go ahead and do that here. Okay. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and slide this back on. Make sure that we are centered up underneath here and our tip should just peek out just a hair past the bag. We'll show you a picture of that here when we're all done. Um, and then before we tighten anything down, we're gonna use that same trick where we go ahead and push the uh, bracket back to give us some room, um, even though it's not where we're normally gonna want the muffler to settle. And then we're gonna go ahead and start these bolts up underneath here by hand. So again, use that trick, pull the bracket back, get it started by hand. This one's in just a hair. Now I'm going to slide it forward, push that rubber grommet out of my way, and grab that, grab that half inch bolt again and start the front one by hand. I do the rear one first just so that way it holds the muffler up. If you try to do the front one, then it you know may not be quite as easy just to have it held up there. Uh, once we get both of those threaded by hand, I would do a couple of turns for sure. Uh, we can go ahead and tighten these down and then when we're done we'll tighten this up here using that same 9 16 uh, wrench to the manufacturer specifications move on to the right hand side repeat the steps and we'll be done 